Hey guys, uh, welcome to lesson three now of this AWS uh, 101 intro uh, with me, Johnny Chivers. Um, I'm a professional data engineer by trade. I work Monday to Friday uh, in the financial sector. Um, when I'm not there, I like me nothing more than making AWS videos as I'm five times certified and it helps me kind of pass on the knowledge and reinforce what I'm learning as I go as well. So, so far we've done lesson one where we've built the Kinesis Data Generator. Last lesson we looked at consumers in theory and then that means that we consumed off that stream and put it in the DynamoDB. And in lesson three here, we're going to use Firehose. So Firehose is another Kinesis service. And what it lets us do is stream directly into things like S3, Splunk, Elasticsearch and Redshift. And it takes away a lot of the management and overhead. So there's no shards. We don't have to worry about scaling it. It automatically scales. And it guarantees um, at least once delivery on these services when it's available. So in this case, what we're going to do is stream straight into S3. You do get asked a lot of questions on the search about the difference between data streams and Firehose. So I'll leave a link in the description below uh, to the AWS website and you can go read about Firehose itself. Essentially, the main difference between it and data streams is that you don't have as much granular control. A lot of it's automated away from you. And there's only a select few services um, that you can stream directly to, including HTTP endpoints. While data streams, you have, the you have the Kinesis consumer library. That means you can build custom apps and start consuming. So different courses for different courses. One's a lot more abstract in the terms of Firehose, but it's a lot simpler to get going. One gives you a lot more control and granularity, which is data streams, but has more overhead. Than so let's jump into the console and get started on actually adding this to our app. Um, if there's any theory I missed there, what we'll do as we go along is I'll point it out and then uh, make you aware of anything that's kind of important, especially towards the search. Okay, so back on the console, I've got um, AWS open and then I've got our data generator in the background as well there. So um, the next thing we want to do is go to Kinesis again. And this time, instead of using the data streams, we're going to use the fire hose. So our stream's still sitting in the background. And it's also got a Lambda as a trigger on it, and it's running the DynamoDB table when we send this data. Um, Firehose then is going to act as a second consumer of that stream and run it to an S3 bucket. So that's where we're going to go is Firehose. But first, we need to set up an S3 bucket for this data. So I'm just going to create a new S3 bucket um, for the purpose of this demo. So if we navigate to S3, um, we go create bucket. Bucket names have to be unique within the AWS infrastructure. So I'm going to call this Johnny Chivers um, Streaming App Bucket. Hopefully no one has my name, so that should be um, unique. Got to block everything, keep it defaults, and uh, create that bucket. Takes a few seconds. Back into Kinesis then, and we're going to create a delivery stream. Name of your delivery stream. So I'm going to call this Firehose for clarity. So this is Firehose Real Time S3 Stream. So we're going to stream the data from Firehose in real time to S3. Okay, so we're going to use the Kinesis data stream as our source system. We're going to put in the data stream that we just used and we're going to create next. We're not going to do any um, transformations, we're just going to leave it in raw JSON format um, for now. Um, there are other lessons in this channel about doing transformations and changing formats, but we're going to keep it nice and simple. So let's leave it as it is. Let's go next. Destination is S3. That's correct. Choose a bucket. So we're going to use the bucket that I just created, which is the app bucket. They will the defaults. Um, I'm just going to use a role that I created previously. If you don't have one that has all the required trust policies, then just uh, create one there. Plenty of uh, videos on this channel by creating IAM rules. Um, again, if you want to create your own IAM policy, feel free. Go ahead. There's plenty of videos on this channel about IAM, but for the purpose of that, I just give it full access to keep us going quickly. So that's the delivery stream in Firehose. Now writing to the S3 bucket from our data stream. So let's go start sending data again. Now there is a buffer. So this can take up to 60 seconds to write down records um, onto the S3 bucket. So what I'm gonna do is just pause the video here and then once the data starts to flow into this um, S3 bucket, we I'll uh, turn the video back on and we can take a look at it. Okay, that's been about 10 minutes. The really important thing with this is to make sure that you have your permissions correct. Um, I attached in the end uh, an access all policy to this rule just to get it working. Um, 
the logs aren't particularly detailed when things don't start to appear so just make sure you have enough permissions attached to the role never go into production with a full access policy obviously put something a bit more secure then if you go down the folder structure here you can see that i'm actually streaming then that data in as an avro file um let's open that data you can see that it's just downloaded there and if i just drag that onto my screen you can see that that data is starting to appear at the same time as well it's obviously populating this dynamo db this is getting bigger and bigger and bigger um but that's part of our streaming infrastructure so in kind of summary today what we did was we created a, a firehose delivery system we're streaming in the ns3 bucket uh in real time on a buffer of five minutes i've set for so that was the default um i think the minimum is 60 seconds so you can change that default as you click through and essentially just make sure you have enough permissions in that i am rule that lets it right to the bucket or else data will not start to appear um I've been Johnny Chivers. Um, as usual, these resources will be available on my website, www.johnnychivers.co.uk. I look forward to seeing you in Lesson 4, where we're going to do some real-time analytics. Thanks very much.